Hi, you're watching CVTV. We're here in Las Vegas at Wispapalooza. I'm with Brendan O'Boyle from the PLP team. And uh, Brendan, uh, thanks for joining us today. T uh, tell us a little bit about PLP and what you're doing at Wispa. Yeah, thanks. So we're excited. Uh, Wispa Palooza 2019. We're very excited to be here. Um, so I'm Brendan O'Boyle with Preform Line Products. We're headquartered in Cleveland, Ohio. We have manufacturing facilities in Rogers, Arkansas and Albemarle, North Carolina. We also have many international wholly owned subsidiaries, but we do make most of the things that we sell in the United States in the United States. Um, we got our start in the uh, telecommunications market and in the power utility market. Uh, particularly in the power utility market, making formed wire products. But this is a guy grip dead end, okay? And this dead end is helical formed wire, and Thomas Peterson was the inventor of this product in 1947. So we actually got our start in aerial hardware. Um, we took our expertise in that area, and we stemmed it into many different things. Uh, we have many verticals. Uh, we're in the power utility market, we're in the solar market, we have drone inspection services, but we're here today talking about our communications division and our fiber optic solutions. So as you can see, we have aerial pull line hardware, we also have cable storage solutions, and we have fiber optic closures. And then I'm gonna pass to my uh, friend Matt Becker who's gonna run you through our full complement of products we have today. So joining us now is Matt Becker from the PLP team. Matt, uh, thanks for joining us. Um, hoping that you can uh, walk us through some of the hardware that we're looking at here. Yeah, I'm Matt Becker with Preform Line Products. I'm our product and market manager for our U.S. communications markets. As Brendan mentioned earlier, um, we have a full complement of fiber optic closures. I'll go a little bit more into detail here. So we have closures that fit the entire um, spectrum. Um, so we have everything that'll go from an entrance closure or access type network, um, moving over to like drop distribution, um, all the way to uh, drop repair solutions. And then as we get towards the table, um, we have uh, closures for trunk or um, feeder type cables. Um, so we run the gamut between uh, one count closures all the way up to 3456 and everything in between. So what we try to do is we try to have a performance match um, between our customers and what they're deploying and what we have. Um, so if your feeder is a 48, um, you know, your, your, your feeder closure might be a Coyote 1. Um, if your feeder cable is a 288, we might push you into Coyote HD. So we have those solutions to match exactly what the cable types our customers are deploying. Um, so we have, um, in this case, just pull this up here. This is our Coyote HD. Um, so this is a case that is primarily used for uh, trunk style or uh, feeder style cables. That's like a pretty durable piece of plastic over there too. It is, it is. And um, this is just a hard splice. Um, we also have closures that can be used for external connectivity. Um, so this is a hardened connector. Um, this would be a closure that we would use where a technician would come in, splice everything on the inside, connect to the, to the connectors on the uh, inside of the cover, and then a less skilled technician can then come in and then just plug in um, external of the closure. And then we also have closures that will handle internal connectivity. Um, so similar to the external connectivity, except the connection is made on the inside, and then that closure is hermetically sealed. So. As I said before, we run the gamut in terms of closures from entrance applications all the way to trunk, and then we have applications that are hard splicing, external connectivity, and internal connectivity. It seems like you must uh, act as like, kind of like a guide for clients too. When they come to you, they might not know what they want, but you can really walk them through the process. Sure, and today, um, as Brendan stated earlier, some people are, are kind of bought into the fiber deployment. Some are brand new. Mm -hmm. Um, so depending on your architecture, we have products that fit everybody's bill. One stop shop. Yes, nice. that's our plan. How can we learn more information? So you can visit us at www.preform.com. Um, we also have uh, a YouTube site that houses all of our uh, application videos, our feature, feature focus videos. Um, so there's a couple of places that you can see us. Great. Well, thanks for uh, chatting with us and good luck. Yep.